really money roll the dice since I pick So it is currently November as we all know and I feel like towards this time of the year we all tend to slack off and lose motivation because we're like ugh we'll wait for January it's the holiday season but I feel like now's the time to stay consistent and push through even more and then you could kind of just like take the holiday season to reset like when Christmas is and stuff before January but I personally tend to let myself really slack off during this time of year and kind of like let go of my routine not work out but we're doing the opposite of that this year because being in a routine makes me feel good it makes me feel healthy and i just feel like it's really hard to get motivation in november and in december because january is right around the corner so we're just kind of waiting for that to come but you can always delay things further like you can always say you're going to start working out tomorrow and then it's going to be oh next week and then it's just going to keep delaying and delaying whatever goals you have don't wait till january don't push it off just start it now why wouldn't you anyways i'm just going to vlog take you guys along my week this week and show you guys that i'm sticking to my routine and we could do this together finish off the end of the year strong if you guys didn't watch my november monthly reset you should definitely watch that because i set some nice goals for this month and for the end of the year that i feel like are really important so it doesn't have to be january to set new goals you can do it any time of the year because january if you really think about it it's just another month energetically yes it's like a new beginning almost but at the same time it's like it is just another month so you can start anything whenever you want but yeah yeah, I'm just supposed to leave the house to run some errands, so I will talk to you guys in the car. I'm just wearing this white box sweatsuit. I just want us to be really comfy today, and then I'm just gonna put like a person Uggs on. So that's the vibe for today. I just got to the gym. I'm thinking about signing up for membership, or I actually already decided that I'm gonna sign up for membership. I already work out three times a week. I go to Oxygen Yoga and Fitness and I love their classes so much. They're infrared heated. So I get a good sweat in. I get to detox because when you sweat, you detox so much. And it's really, really, really good to sweat. So make sure you guys are sweating a couple times a week at least because the detoxification that sweating does for your body is just so good. But anyway, so I really just want to get a gym membership because I miss lifting weights. And I just miss having the freedom of being able to go to a gym whenever I want. I used to be a gym girly like I would go to the gym three at least three times a week and like lift weights so I used to do the gym consistently I never used to do workout classes so now I'm kind of doing the opposite but I realized now I kind of want to blend the two and do workout classes and I want to do the gym so maybe what I'll do is I'll do two oxygen yoga and fitness classes a week and then go to the gym two or three times I'm just gonna really just listen to my body and do what I want but I definitely want to incorporate like lifting weights again to just feel stronger so I'm gonna go in now and I booked like a free three-day pass so I can get a tour and then I just want to like test out the gym and get a tour first before committing to it because I want to make sure I like the vibes in there and like I want to make sure I work out before you know committing to a membership I was gonna wait till January to do this but i'm like why why am i waiting when i want to do this now like let's just like get on let's just get on it you know so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just gonna go inquire about the past and everything and i'll let you guys know how i like it I started drizzling a bit which i'm kind of sad about because i don't want to get my hair wet because i just curled it yesterday but we'll run it okay let's go I just went grocery shopping and now I'm just gonna stop by Meridian Meats because I just need to get some ground beef because I'm making a chili tonight. I've just been in my soup era and chili just sounds so cozy since it's raining today. So that's gonna be dinner for today. I'm so excited. It just sounds so good and I bought like tortilla chips to go with it. But anyways, okay, let's go do one last errand and then we'll be home and I'll give you guys a little bit of a grocery haul. Okay. Oh, by the way, the gym was pretty good. I got like a free trial, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna go tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how it is is but yeah anyways okay
got home but here's a mini grocery haul so i just got some chips for the chili tonight i got jalapeno lime because that's my favorite flavor and these are the organic version then i just got some organic potatoes some green onion for the chili some salad for this week some avocados chicken broth i got two teas and everyday detox and a lemon balm and then some zevias and then i got some diced tomatoes for the chili tonight red kidney beans and then i also got pinto beans onion i got some chili powder pepper for the soup tonight and then i got these salt and vinegar chips these are so good and then i just got some yams and some eggs and then i just got some fish for this week and then some ground beef for the chili tonight but yeah that is a little haul I just got an Amazon package. Show you guys what I ordered because my hair has been shedding. I'm not even kidding you. So much recently. I can tell so many baby hairs are growing back. I have so many layers underneath my head of like just like tiny baby hairs and all around. And I think my hair is going through a shedding cycle. My hair is falling out like crazy. My hair is shedding everywhere. It's, every time I like touch my hair, I have a million hairs in my hand, but it's regrowing at the same time. I've noticed this happens to me like year after year, like at this time of the year. And so I bought some things to help me along this shedding because it's actually ridiculous how much hair I'm losing. And I know I'm not going bald or anything, like it's growing back, but like, it's just crazy. And I just hate having hair everywhere. Like I'd rather not lose that much hair. So anyways, I got like this thing imaging that i'll show you guys later when i do it in the bathroom but i just want to start taking better care of like my scalp and my hair in general and i know that that does start from the inside out but also there's some like topical things that you can do like give yourself head massages make sure the blood is flowing through there for hair growth and putting like hair oils on hair masks and stuff like that so i definitely want to start doing that more often but from amazon i got this organica enhanced collagen this is grass fed i will have this linked down below i was watching this video on like hair growth and stuff and hair fallout and they said that you should be taking collagen to just like help fortify your hair and stuff like that so i'm gonna start taking collagen and you can mix this in your smoothies your coffee i'm probably most likely gonna just put it in my coffee every day and i will let you know if i see any results collagen is just good in general for your hair skin nails so i'm excited to start taking this and i'll have a link down below but anyways i think i was just doing some editing and i'm gonna start making dinner now i'm gonna start making the chili it's gonna be so good and cozy chili is officially done it looks so good i'm gonna dress it up with like green onions and avocado and then some chips but so excited to eat this i will have the recipe link down below and here she is all plated up if you guys do dairy i would totally put cheese and sour cream in it and we're gonna eat those lime tortillas on the side so cozy hey guys so i'm just getting ready for bed now but i wanted to show you what i bought for my hair these little bottles i got them off amazon i will have them linked down below and i suck at linking things you guys know this so if i forget just give me a comment and i will link them but it came in a pack of three for only ten dollars and i don't know if you can tell but like you know how when hair serums they come in like a little bottle and they have like a little like a dropper thing and you have to individually go through your hair with that dropper and it's like it makes no sense because it's like how are you supposed to disperse the product correctly that's what these are basically made for so i actually made rosemary water if you guys don't know rosemary water is a natural hair growth hair thickness remedy and it's supposed to um, help prevent hair loss so all you do is you get like rosemary from the grocery store at my local grocery stores they just come in little packs and then you just boil it 
on the stove for like 20 minutes and then let it sit let it cool and that is your rosemary water you can search up a youtube video how to do it in depth but anyway so it only lasts for five days in the fridge but i just got this out of the fridge so i'm gonna be staying consistent with this and putting this rosemary water in my hair every single day because apparently it does wonders and it sucks that it's gonna make my hair wet because i don't really want to get my hair wet but hopefully it's not too bad because like i'm not going to drench my whole head it's just going to be like on my scalp area so it shouldn't be too bad it's really nice how it's like has so many bristles to disperse it and then all i do is i go like this like around my head and that's it i also have these two hair serums the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density and then i have the whey scalp serum so i've been using both of these as well but as i said as you can tell these products only have the dropper so it's like i don't it's not getting you very far with your scalp um like it's hard to disperse that it's like this is all that you have to do and i'm going to try to keep up with this every single day and i will let you guys know if i see a difference and i'm also going to do like nightly just like massages for a couple minutes that's the plan of action for my hair but i'm gonna go to bed i will see you guys in the morning because it's already like 7 45 i go to bed so early but i like to have like my time in bed it's like no other being in bed reading a book and just chilling so comfy i like to go to bed at least like an hour before i actually go to sleep because i need to like wind myself down i can't just go to bed and sleep right away i just don't like to do that but anyways good night i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning you guys i am just about to leave for the gym to try out the new gym for the first time which i'm excited about and i'm gonna do like a leg day workout just to start like lifting weights again but i'm gonna go really easy today just because i don't want to overwork myself since i haven't lift really lifted in a while but i have just this cozy fleece on today and i'm wearing my ritzia butter jumpsuit and i just feel really comfy and i'm in the vibes to go to the gym this morning i don't know what was wrong with my stomach i had to sit on the couch for like half an hour and just stare at the wall because my stomach was hurting so bad i don't even know what it was to be honest but it was just hurting so bad i couldn't do anything and like that delayed my morning a bit but it's currently almost like 9 30 now so it's not that bad i mean i wanted to leave earlier but it's fine like i couldn't do anything about my stomach it was just like aching so bad and i could barely go about my morning routine but then i just had to wait till it passed so i'm better now and i'm excited to work out today the sun is out which is so nice and beautiful the trees are just so orange i'm definitely gonna go on a walk sometime today i just kind of want to start like tapping in more to what i want to do as exercise rather than forcing myself so since i like want to start going to the gym i'm gonna do that and honestly i'm just gonna take it day by day i'm not gonna give myself like a super super strict schedule i still want to have movement every day i still want to work out a lot like not every single day but like monday to friday like work out whenever i want at least three times a week but if i feel called and inclined to do more than that then i'll go more than that and if i don't then i'll just go three times a week and if i want to book a workout class i'll book a workout class if i want to go to the gym i'll go to the gym like just kind of listening to my body and making working out fun rather than a chore because i feel like it's always been a chore to me and i feel like to a lot of people working out is just a chore and so try to make it something where you can make it a little bit more fun if that's possible to you whether that's like finding a new gym or finding just like a workout class that you like um and going there once a week or going on long walks or running like whatever that is to you just like try a bunch of different things and see what you really like doing because working out should definitely be something that's enjoy enjoyable yes you kind of have to push and force yourself sometimes like i'm not saying you're always gonna have the motivation but like at least try to do something that like gets you a little bit excited and switch things around because for me doing the same thing repetitively over and over again i become like a robot and then i just don't enjoy it anymore so i personally in my workout routines and stuff i need like change so that's what i'm gonna start like integrating more is like more changes and stuff like that but yeah that is my rant of the day but anyways okay let's go to the gym
got four double espresso shots because that's all that I really use my espresso for is like lattes. So I got two double espressos and these are Dolce. And then I got two double espresso Bianco Doppio. These are supposed to be like a little bit sweeter for like lattes and stuff, but I wanted to try both. So and that is the little espresso haul. I have another one in here. I just wanted to show you guys my smoothie lineup here. So I'm gonna be putting frozen banana, blueberries, and then this protein powder, which is really, really clean. And then also some of this yogurt, which is also really clean, it's plant-based. And then also this coconut water just for hydration. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of coconut milk as well. I just kinda eyeball everything, honestly. I don't really have measurements, but. Just got ready for the day a little bit and I'm just gonna make a uh, coffee now. Just brewed an espresso shot and I thought that I would show you guys my iced latte recipe because it's so easy and I feel like it's like a healthier alternative so what i do is i add about two little of these teaspoons of maple syrup into the espresso shot and i find that's like the perfect sweetness for me and i mix it in here just because it mixes the best since this is hot so now i'm just going to add some ice to my cup and this is the milk that i'm using it's my homemade cashew almond milk i will link the recipe down below for the video that i put it in and then just put the espresso shot over top of the milk And that is literally it. It is so good and it's so much healthier, especially since I use my homemade milk and maple syrup instead of like processed sugar. But I'm telling you, best recipe ever. Cheers. So now I just got my little work set up here with my coffee, my laptop, my phone, and I'm gonna get some work done for a couple of hours, hopefully. Hey guys, so I just finished my work for the day and editing and all that, but I wanted to tell you guys that I am starting to do a language course again and I'm so excited because since I'm not in school, I love the opportunity to learn and I'm doing it through Lingoda and I would love to thank them for sponsoring today's video. The reason why I love their classes specifically so much is because they do it live and online over Zoom with only three to five students. You feel way more immersed in the course. It allows you to have real time and like real life conversations with your classmates and they also have the most experienced teachers which give you such great feedback their classes take place 24 7 so if you're a busy gal their classes are so flexible and you can also do them from wherever since they're on zoom and they're only an hour long so here's me booking a class on langota and i decided to go with learning spanish just because i feel like it's a universal language and i've just always wanted to know how to speak it and so as you could see it was really easy to book and i ended up booking a 3 p.m class just because i feel like that's the perfect time for me when i'm kind of finishing my work up for the day and right before dinner and i'm super excited Goda has this thing called their Sprint Challenge. What this is, is it's an intensive 30-day course designed to help students build an everyday language learning habit and also stay motivated. The Sprint Challenge also has rewards. If you complete it, you get 50% cash back or you can get 30 credits back. And like this video was about pushing ourselves at the end of the year, this is such a great challenge to do. Honestly, their classes are just so much fun and the fact that this Sprint Challenge gives back to you if you complete it is such a motivating factor if you guys want to sign up for lingoda you can use my code michaela bento for 25 dollars usd off in addition to the already 30 percent off that they have right now so yeah thank you so much to lingoda for sponsoring today's video i think me and joel are gonna go on a walk now because it's just so beautiful i'm gonna have leftovers for dinner i gotta check the fridge but that's the vibe for the rest of the day As 
you can see my room is kind of a mess so i just want to tidy it up a bit i'm gonna do that right now it's not too bad but i also want to get some laundry in as well so let's do a quick cleanup and some laundry <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished tidying up my room and it feels like a million times better But I got a little haul from garage that is so cute It's a new holiday collection and I just wanted to show you guys a few pieces if you have any holiday parties or to wear to your Christmas dinner the first item that I got is this little cute corset with little tiny sleeves. Are you kidding me? It's velvet and it's so cute I'm obsessed with it and you can pair this with like a skirt, jeans, whatever. And then the next top that I got is this beautiful backless, it has like just a tie at the back, um, halter top type thing. But are you kidding? This is such like a timeless piece that I feel like has always been in style. This would look so nice with a pair of jeans and it just kind of dresses an outfit up. And this red is beautiful, especially for Christmas. And I'm obsessed with the open back. And then I got this beautiful dress. I don't know if you guys can tell the pattern, but it's this long black pattern dress with a slit. And I already know this is going to fit so nice and it has like somewhat of an open back. I will have everything linked down below so you guys can see, but oh my gosh, I just cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to do a try on haul on my TikTok. So if you want to see all the pieces on, go look at my TikTok. And then I just got two pairs of slouchy jeans from them these are their yeah they're called the slouchy jean and i love this wash and i've just been like needing and wanting more jeans lately and garage has such good jeans and then i just got these um slouchy cargos they're basically almost the same wash but these are cargo version and yeah that's my little garage haul but like i said everything will be linked garage is just so underrated and their pricing is so good and affordable but anyways i just wanted to share that with you guys and i'm happy my room is like so much cleaner now my laundry's in so i think i'm gonna make some cookies peanut butter cookies right now and then just like wind down for the night because it's currently 5 50 and then yeah just like transfer my laundry and stuff but yeah i'm gonna go i think make some cookies right now it's also kind of funny because i would consider myself like a clean messy person i will let things get a little bit untidy i would say like i'll leave some clothes on the floor but it doesn't last long like my messiness can be there for like a day or two and then i'll clean it up so i don't know if i'm considered like if you were to live with me i don't know if you'd say i'm messy or clean but I'm, i feel like i'm just kind of like in between where i really like things organized and folded but i do let things get messy but then I clean it. Like, it's not like I let it sit in the mess for, like, weeks. I clean it right away. I think that's considered clean. But I don't know. For me, I just can't go any longer than, like, a couple of days when things are messy. Because it's just, like, such an energetic thing for me. That, like, I just don't feel like myself. And I don't feel good energy if things are a mess. I just feel so stagnant. And I just really can't handle it. But let me know down below if you guys are a clean or messy person. I don't even know how anybody could be messy. Because, to me, it clogs my brain mentally. Like, I need to clean. Or it's always in the back of my head like my house is a mess my room is a mess like I can't function properly and it, I think it is actually scientifically proven that like a clean house emits like pot more positive energy for you so yeah really random but if you guys are feeling stuck or stagnant try cleaning your space and organizing things I feel like it just really really helps especially for like a nice energy cleanse so you don't have to wait for the new year to do that you can do it now which I probably would be even better to set you up for Christmas and for the new year but yeah, random, but I was just thinking of that. I was like, am I clean or messy? But I'm definitely clean with like a hint of messiness sometimes when I'm in a rush. <laughs>
morning you guys happy what a day is it today wednesday it's wednesday yeah actually my mom's birthday today so i'm gonna text her actually right now i'm just headed to oxygen yo and fitness as usual i'm doing their power core class today which i'm so excited for actually i think that's like their favorite class of mine usually when i wake up at this time i'm really tired but today i don't know where this came from but i have a boost of energy i actually was watching a tiktok about the science about women versus men waking up super early and apparently it's a lot easier for men to wake up really early because of the testosterone that floods through their veins in the morning like they get a shot of testosterone and apparently women only get that same shot of testosterone when they're ovulating so only for like a week or five days or however long that is and so when you compare more women to men for morning people men have more mental clarity in the morning and all this stuff more energy and that's why a lot of men can just kind of get up and go about their day early in the morning and have that energy versus like you see a lot of women sleeping in and getting more sleep than men because scientifically women like need more sleep but i don't know i might be ovulating i guess because this morning i woke up completely fine like okay yeah it was really hard to get out of bed and i did snooze it an extra time this morning but once i was actually up like i am awake now and usually at this point i'm still like tired but i'm not even tired at all right now like it feels like it could be 2 p.m so i don't know how that works but it must be ovulating because i do notice that there's certain times of the month where i would wake up way easier than other times so maybe that's why with like the same amount of sleep yeah i don't know i mean i, I always aim for at least eight hours if i can get more that's amazing but i need minimum eight and even still with minimum eight there's some days where i wake up so exhausted and some days where i'm completely fine like today so i don't know but there's apparently science behind it so it's really interesting because everybody's body at the end of the day too works a lot differently so you just have to do what's best for you and what feels good and i've always been somebody who just like really loves my sleep like i could sleep for like 15 hours i swear if i had no alarm but also that is kind of unhealthy because you can also oversleep and that's not good so i kind of have to set those boundaries with myself where i was like okay if i get eight hours i'm good to go like i i can get up like it's hard but i can do it but if i don't get eight hours i will not force myself to wake up so but yeah anyways let's get working out and do some power core happy hump day <laughs> Sorry if you guys hear leaf blowers in the background, they're just doing around my house right now. I'm gonna put this Organica, the collagen that I bought, inside the little Nespresso cup here. And I'm gonna melt my, my Nespresso shot right on top of it. I think that this is gonna be a perfect way to have my collagen. So that is the plan. I just wanted to show you guys like how I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> So today I added in my coffee ice cubes that I put in my little heart ice cube tray with coffee so that my coffee doesn't get too watered down with the normal ice cubes. A little hack that I like to do sometimes when I have the coffee ice cubes is just use my leftover brew um, when I make drip coffee and then add it to an ice cube tray and that is literally it. And then it's perfect to put in iced coffee or a latte or something. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have been editing for like five hours straight and I just needed like a mental break So i'm just chilling and i'm about to make a carrot salad as a snack But I have been purposely avoiding social media during the day Because I got to a point where I was like scrolling on tiktok in the middle of everything Like if my edit were to take like a minute to load I would go on tiktok for that minute and i'm like what am I doing and it's just been consuming my life I feel like social media has been and i've just been like on my phone way too often and it's just been Clogging up my brain it feels like and for the past like week and a half now i have not 
been on my phone during the day obviously at nighttime like i let myself do whatever because i'm just relaxing but i am setting firm boundaries with my phone now because i'm either like extremist and i won't go on tiktok like at all or i let myself go on it whenever but i kind of want to make a balance between the two so i decided what i'm going to do is during the day i'm not going to let myself scroll on social media but then at night when i'm relaxing like after dinner and stuff i have the green light that way it's more of a balance instead of completely restricting myself and i don't know i just feel like there's so much information and there's so much garbage on the internet and it's just really hard to live your own life sometimes when you're just constantly consuming it so much ties into that like comparison to other people almost like living through other people while you scroll online it's pretty unhealthy because it's like go and live your own life you know what i mean i saw this quote and it was like if you were in a movie and you were the main character would it be exciting or would you just be on the couch or in bed scrolling on social media all day you know what i mean so when i saw it i was like that is so true what do i really want to do with my life because if you keep these habits up every single day and just scroll on social media every single day for like the whole day before you know it, you're going to be like 50 years old and your whole life was basically just scrolling on social media and i really realized that when i don't scroll and when i restrict myself it forces me to think outside of the box it forces me to be more creative with my time and to do things that i would normally procrastinate and put off because since my phone is off boundaries i have so much more time and you would be surprised how much more time you actually have and how much you do pick up your phone almost like an instinct because it's become such a habit and it's funny because i will pick up my phone and then go on tiktok and i'm like oh my gosh i literally can't allow myself to go on tiktok and then i put it down and i realize but it's like such a habit to do is just pick up my phone and go online something that i really want to work on especially going into this next year so this is a habit that i want to stick to it's not going on my phone during the day just because things can be so toxic and i want to live my life and not live through other people on social media and I feel like YouTube is just a different ballgame for me, like watching YouTube videos. If I'm sitting down to eat and I want to watch a video or something, like for breakfast or whatever, um, I will put on a YouTube video instead of scrolling on Instagram or TikTok just because I feel like YouTube, I don't know, it's my safe place and I also get a lot of motivation from YouTube and I'll just put on one video and that is it. I won't go yearning for more TikTok. We also never really give our brains any time to think. Every single time we're waiting in line at Starbucks, we're at a restaurant waiting for our food and especially for alone, our our natural instinct is to just pick up our phone and let the time go by that way while scrolling but it's like what if you didn't have your phone what if you didn't have social media and you just stood in silence waiting what kind of thoughts can come to your head what kind of creative ideas can you think of it's just funny to think because i feel like we're just consuming so much of our brain's capacity with social media nowadays and other people's lives other people's opinions products and whatever but that makes it so much harder to form our own and we don't give ourselves time to even form our own because every spare second that we have we just pick up our phones and it's become such a habit for i feel like everybody so i'm trying to make a effort and i'm gonna hide the apps on my phone screen so i can't just like instinctively click on them or you can also go in your settings and you can put boundaries for yourself a lot of people say that they quit tiktok but then they'll be on instagram reels and i'm sorry but it's like the same thing <laughs> yeah i just feel like social media can be so toxic and it is a tool as long as you use it correctly though and not consume your life with it so yeah i just feel like not doing that leaves me with so much more time in the day and i'll look at the clock and i'll be like oh my gosh it's only 1 p.m right now that's crazy and it's like mentally because i save so much time not going on my phone the time goes by so much slower and tiktok is called tiktok for a reason because the time goes by so fast when you're on it and it's just like such a dopamine rush but i just know it's bad and i really want to set healthy boundaries with it so that's what i'm doing i just thought that i would talk to you guys about that because i feel like it's just a problem that a lot of people have and staying away from it these past week and a half it's made a huge difference and my overall mood too and like my mental clarity and i've just like been more creative this week in general and felt really really good so give it a try if you guys feel kind of stuck in a social media rut as well and i promise you you'll feel so much better and you'll actually feel like you're living your own life anyways i'm gonna make a little carrot salad now and it's my mom's birthday today as i said earlier so i'm gonna go for dinner at my house to see her since it's her actual birthday today but yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day let's make a little carrot salad so apparently carrots are really good for hormones and this little salad is actually really tasty so it's the perfect snack but all you gotta do is peel a carrot into a bowl just in like little slices or whatever these are called peelings so after you peel your carrots just drizzle it with some olive oil and then put some vinegar in this is just white wine vinegar put some salt 
and pepper. This is how it should look and you just got to mix it up a little bit and I eat it with chopsticks. It's amazing. It's so good and carrots are supposed to be, like I said, really good for hormones. So I'm trying to balance my hormones and I've been trying to have this at least like once a day just as a perfect little snack. I'm just going to eat this now and do a little bit more editing. I am currently just finishing up editing. I've been seeing 111 so much recently. The angels have been talking to me. But anyways, I'm home alone right now and it feels so weird because I'm never home alone. Like I feel like Joel's always home with me. We always have like our separate rooms that we go in he works in his office all day i'm down here all day and technically i'm alone all day but like he's still in the house so it's still his presence but it feels so weird being completely home alone i don't know what it is i just feel like i'm never home alone and it's like a weird feeling being in my own completely just alone i've never lived completely alone before so maybe that's why every time i'm alone i'm just kind of i'm not scared but it's just like a weird feeling i guess i don't know but joel should be home soon anyways but i'm just waiting for him to come back because he has the car we share a car by the way because we don't we both work from home so it doesn't make sense to have two cars yeah i'm just waiting for him to get home and then i'm gonna leave to my family's house to have dinner yeah this video is just taking me so long to edit but it feels good that i'm you know catching up on editing for the week because i leave it to the last minute a lot and then i kind of get kicked in the butt <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I just got to the gym. I'm gonna, Jesus, my voice is like not there today. <clears throat> I just got to the gym and I'm about to work out. I'm here at eight o'clock, so I think it's gonna be a little bit less busy today. So we'll test the waters and see. But yeah, this is the last day of my free trial, so I'm probably gonna sign up for a pass after this. But I really didn't want to come this morning, to be honest. It was just the laziness in me. Like, I'm completely fine. It was just, like, me not wanting to work out. I know I need to go. Like, this is going to make me feel so good. I need to move my body. And I did it. <clears throat> we persevered, and we're here, which I'm really proud of myself for. Yeah, I'm going to go in now because I wanted to start working out at 8, and it's 8.02. So I'm a little bit late, but I had to snooze my alarm this morning. Even though I went to bed at 10.30. No, it's about at 11 last night. But I had my alarm set for 7, and I woke up, and I was like, you're kidding. Like, it's not already the morning. And then I snoozed it twice because I just had to. So then I kind of was like shuffling to get ready. But I didn't like do a full morning routine this morning. I just kind of had my bone broth and made my bed. And that was about it. I didn't do gratitude or anything. Because not every morning is going to look perfect. And I know I portray that. On the weekend mornings, I don't even have a morning routine. I really just give myself the weekends to relax and do absolutely nothing. There's that side that I don't show. Plus, like today, I didn't do everything that I wanted to do in my morning routine because I just wanted to honestly get to the gym and wake myself up. And that's okay. Like, not every day is going to look the same. It's okay if you can't accomplish every single thing every day because we're not perfect. We're human beings and it's fine. Like, it's chill. So, I realized, like, in the morning, if I don't start moving my body right away, I get so tired. Like, I need to wake up and keep moving. If I sit down on the couch, I'm done. Like, I am going to be falling into a nap. That's why I can't meditate in the morning because I just fall asleep. There's no keeping me up. As soon as I sit down for a meditation, five minutes and I'm sleeping. Um, but I realize that what I have to do in the morning in order to keep myself awake is just keep moving. Even when I do my gratitude, like I just do it on the table and I don't go on the couch because then I'm like upright at least. But every after every task that I do, I have to keep moving myself or I get really tired. So that's why working out first thing is really beneficial for me because it wakes my body up right away and I feel so awake awake during my workout so that's why i love doing it first thing in the morning i'm not a night workout person like i'm somebody who needs to work out in the morning and i won't go at night because it does wake me up so with that being said okay it's 804 <laughs> let's go work out Hey, can I get a venti um, peppermint mocha with three espresso shots? Yep. And then, what do you want, babe? A grande gingerbread latte. A grande gingerbread latte. With coconut with milk. With coconut milk. And no whip. And no whip. Coconut milk and no whip. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. 
Perfect. See you at the window. See you at the window. Christmas drinks, baby. We're so excited. This is our first time that we're getting the Christmas drinks this season. I'm so excited because I haven't been to Starbucks in so long because you guys know I've been trying to cut out like processed sugar and stuff, but once in a while ain't gonna kill you. So I like to have a little sweet treat once in a while. Okay, but this is ridiculous. I was looking at their menu and at their white chocolate mocha, their peppermint white chocolate mocha. Oh my gosh, I actually gasped. 72 grams of sugar in the grande. If you guys are gonna order the white chocolate peppermint mocha, just like beware because you don't wanna get like a sugar attack. So yeah, the gingerbread latte has 30, which is still a lot, like it is a lot, but it's not as bad as 70. So just like beware because you can definitely get like really bad jitters if you have too much sugar and not feel well. So I feel like it's just important to look at the sugar intake before you order something, just if you're sensitive to that. Thank you so much. It is the season. Cheers, you guys. So I think you heard what I ordered already, but I discovered coconut milk at Starbucks and it's so much better than their almond milk because I'm not having oat milk right now, but it's a lot better than their almond milk because I feel like almond milk just makes it really watery in my opinion. So coconut milk, I know it's like, ew, that's going to be so coconutty, but it's not. It actually, like the coffee and the sugar, it disguises the taste of the coconut and then it ends up tasting like creamy. So it's really good. First Christmas drink of the season, cheers. Okay, let's taste it. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm. Mm, that, that is pretty good. It's good, right? It's very gingerbread. Mm -hmm. Versus the sugar cookie, which kind of just tastes yeah. like a vanilla latte. Okay, unpopular opinion. I don't like the sugar cookie latte. I don't know what it is or why I don't like it. I don't, I just don't like it. It just doesn't taste like a sugar cookie. Yeah, I'm really happy they have the gingerbread latte back because I didn't have it for the past two years and it's their first time having it back and this used to be my favorite so I had to get it for nostalgic reasons. We're gonna set up our Christmas decorations next week. We were planning on maybe doing it this week but I wanted to do this video instead. So next week we're gonna do a Christmas decoration video. So get excited because that is gonna be a Christmas vibes video. And then from there, it's basically just gonna be a lot of Christmas content. So please leave any video ideas you guys have if you wanna see, maybe Christmas downtown vlog. I don't know, let me know what you wanna see. Holiday recipes, there's so much I can do. <laughs> So we're currently in Ikea because we are trying to set up curtains finally and I'm so excited. So I'm going to bring you guys along the process and show you guys like what we got for the setup and everything. But I'm so excited. I've been wanting to put curtains in our house for so long now and Joel like did all his research so he knows what to buy and the measurements. So he's helping me out. He's going to be doing them for me. But we're just shopping around right now and seeing like what curtains we like. And I'm so excited. Today is the day. And yeah, I just want curtains because it's going to make our house feel so much more homey. And I don't know. I'm just really excited. It's always been like a weird dream of mine to have like cute curtains. But I never could have them in my room at home. And in our apartment, there wasn't really anywhere to put curtains because like we had floor to ceiling windows. So I'm just like so excited to live out my cute aesthetic home dreams. <laughs> So this is the before of the sliding door that we want to put the curtains on. I just don't really like the look of the blind. It just looks really plain and we don't really want to keep this window open for privacy reasons. So we always keep the shades down. So I just thought it would look really, really nice with a with just curtains along to make it look more like appealing. So yeah, I just think it's gonna really elevate things since we don't even open this anyways. For the curtains, we got two packs of these Rivita and that's the name of the ones that we're gonna put up here. Then we got a different set for upstairs, but this is all the tools for Joel and he's gonna start setting them up right now. Okay, don't mind the bed being undone, but here's the before of the no curtains. I just wanted to show you guys the bedroom. I just feel like it's gonna look so good and cozy with them. I am so excited. Joel's doing it literally right now. Mm -hmm. 
so here's how the curtains turned out excuse the mess this is going to be made more of a vibe and i really want to also put a lamp in this corner here so stay tuned for that in next week's video because i'm also going to be decorating for christmas so i'm excited for that but I'm also going to get rid of like the fall leaves I have in here. So I'm just going to put like maybe candles or something. I am obsessed with how the curtains turned out. They look amazing and they really just change up the vibe in this room. I can't wait until like it's all finished. I just feel like it's going to be such a good vibe. So make sure you watch my next video to see like the end result. But I love these curtains. I will try to have them linked down below. And they just really made a difference in the space. We put two packs of curtains on this rod because it is a longer length and one pack was not enough but it made them super voluptuous as you could tell they're nice and pleated at the top which i really love it's giving luxury and i love it and here is how the curtains turned out in the bedroom i think that they look so amazing and it just gives such a different vibe i don't even know how to describe it joel wasn't sure at first but i was like no trust me and it makes the biggest difference the room just feels so much more cozy now and it feels so much more like done what i want to do next is like put a picture in frame and like on top of the bed and i feel like that'll just complete things a lot more for now we're making very good progress and i am obsessed with the way the curtains look these are a different pair than downstairs so i will link them down below and let you guys know what the name of of these and as you can see these kind of drape on the floor a bit but it gives such an elegant vibe we were gonna hem them but i decided not to because i love the way that it looks so yeah i am obsessed and i'm so glad that we decided to do curtains I'm five of you. I do that three, four times again. I test the five of you. I'm so down.